Okay then, guys. It is I, Jane Poop here, back with more Super Smash Brothers. And last time we have unlocked Jigglypuff, and um, we've also unlocked the sound test. In this video, we're going to hopefully unlock the final stage. So I've gotten up to Master Hand with every character. Now I'm just doing it with Captain Falcon. Thankfully, I can use a cheat, which could just takes me straight to Master Hand. That's what I've been using. Uh, in addition, I'm doing this one on very hard mode. So, let's see how well I do. Except uh, I'm sucking. God. Let's see how well I do. Oh, no. Go. Oh god, no! Oh, I'm being drilled to death. Yes, yeah, so I thought we might as well do the very last fight on very hard mode, since it's just Master Hand anyway. Turn down my TV a bit. Ah, he slapped me, but it didn't work. And, and the last blow will be the best move ever, obviously. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Nice! Oh my god. Only took me a minute to do. Wow. About two minutes, but okay. You see, very hard. And I just used the cheat code to take me to Master Hand so I don't have to do the other fights, uh, which thankfully works. And now let's look at the credits. So. Uh, so here's the staff, I guess. Um, that is Super Smash Brothers on the N64 in 1999. Um, the only Smash Bros. games in the night is. The others were in the 2000s and the 2010s. So, uh, it's still a good game. Uh, even though the others are better, but still. Uh, mostly Brawl and Ultimate, but still. Like, Melee's good as well, and 3DS and Wii U are alright. Oh, rare! Oh, it's just for Donkey Kong, I guess. You can move your cursor as well, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to mash the A button, I guess. Yeah, let's see. I don't know what happens if you shoot all of them, because I know in later games uh, you get something special, but I don't know if, it, if it's the case in this one. Or if it's just the case of seeing the staff up there. Okay. So we got the congratulations screen uh, with Captain Falcon. And then, you might think that's it, we didn't unlock it. Well, there's another thing we gotta do. We gotta go to versus mode. Uh, I'm gonna go with stock, why not? Just one. Versus options, uh, I don't know what the handicap is, uh, we'll keep that on. Team attack, no. Stage select on. Damage percentage. I don't know if that's the case with, um, with a uh, stop. Oh wait, yeah it is. Um, let's just have 200%, why not? Free for all. So, we're, bas we're just basically gonna do some bonuses, so. I'm gonna do it by each character, but I'm gonna do unlockable characters instead of um, main ones mostly. So, I'm gonna do Ouija versus 
Uh, why not? I'll just, uh... No, I'll use this one, actually. And we'll go against... I'll go against, uh, how about... You know what, Captain Falcon will go against, but first I need to... Because I want him to be a different colour. Wait, because I thought you could change colours. But no. Unless I've mapped the buttons incorrectly for me, but... Oh, well. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, we'll just, uh... Uh, do that. And then we'll do it each stage. Because we've got to do every stage at least once. So... So why not? We'll just do a fight. Just do random fights. Whoa! Okay. I don't think it matters if we win. <laughs> it's a cool victory. And instead of Donkey Kong, we'll use Ness for this next one. Don't think... I don't know if Ness goes in a jungle in Earthbound, but I, I think he does, but... Three, two, one, oh, nice! Very easy. Okay. Now we'll use the normal characters, but instead of Pikachu for the last one, we'll use Jigglypuff. So, let's go with Link. Yeah, it could be because I mapped the buttons incorrectly, but... C buttons, mostly, but... Or it might be the D-pad where you change costumes, I don't know. Okay. Oh no! Link's being kicked. Ah, oh, lovely. Nice. Okay, we got that. And now for Samus from Metroid. Planet Zebus, Planet Zebus, however you say it, I don't know. Yeah, I think it has to be in versus matches as well. It cannot be in, um, you know, training mode. It has to be all these stages. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Falcon! We've unlocked him again! No, just kidding. This is a different costume for him. No, just kidding. Where's that Samus? Now for Yoshi! Yoshi Poshi. Okay. I don't know why I said that, but okay. Alright, Yoshi! Time to lick him! Yum, lovely Yoshi! Alright, now for Kirby! Kirby Webby! Alright, in green greens, well not green greens, just dreamland. I always thought it would be green greens, but it could be, but I don't know. Oh, also, yes. And now for Fox McCloud for Sector Z or Sector Z, if you prefer. Uh, by the way, I've also changed some of the settings to make it to make the frame rate smoother. I don't know if it is 60 FPS per se, but I made it slightly smoother, so so that's why it looks smoother. Okay, you can easily kill these. Instead of Pikachu, we're gonna have Jigglypuff. Jigglypuffy, okay, in Saffron City. On the Sylph building. Which is spelled differently in the Japanese version. Uh, in this version, the English version, it's spelled 
S I L P H, but in the Japanese version it's nothing simple for PH. Yep, a new battle arena has been added. There you go. And what is the new arena? Well, we're going to use Captain Falcon for a start because he's awesome. It is none other than Mushroom Kingdom from the Super Mario Bros. series. So now, this stage is only in um, versus mode. I don't think you can play it in the classic mode, a uh, one player game. But you can see here, it's basically like uh, classic Super Mario Bros. on NES. Maybe slightly different, but who knows. Oh god. Do do do. Oh, hammer. Oh, they I dropped them into the abyss. Oh my god. Oh wow, we can do that. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, you can see. You know, we'll do it again because, in fact, no, it will. What we'll, we'll do is. We, we, yes. No, not Link. Is that each of these are going to be Captain Falcon? So. We can have more colors. Yep. Yeah. Let's just have a whole team of Captain Falcons. Even Pink Falcon. On the Mushroom Kingdom, so let's see the Captain Falcon team in this stage. It's insane, isn't it? Let's see if my main character can win. X, I didn't. So we're just gonna watch the other Falcons then. Okay. Um. But yeah, that is uh, the stage. There is another unlockable. I think it's uh, an I think it's an unlockable for more rules. Uh, only I think you have to do a lot of versus matches in order to get it. So yeah, uh, so I'm not gonna bother unlocking that in this video. But I think it's more option stuff. So it, I, I could be wrong though, but. Still. <laughs> but still. A uh, sound test you get after doing all bonus games, obviously. <laughs> Best song in the game. It's literally the final destination theme. Uh, master hand. Uh, so yeah, right. let's have a look at the characters then. So we have Mario. If you want to read the descriptions, you, you can pause the video. So he was from Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Kart, and Mario Kart 64. Even though he was in a lot of other games before this, Luigi was from Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, which is Super Mario USA, and Mario Kart 64. And then Donkey Kong. Uh, is in Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country, and Mario Kart 64. That is true. Uh, a link from The Legend of Zelda. A link to the past. He was in Zelda 2 as well. Along with Ocarina of Time. And then Samus was obviously only these three games at the time. Metroid, Metroid 2, Return of Samus, and Super Metroid. Yoshi was from Super Mario World, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and Yoshi's Story. And Kirby was from Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Pinball Land, and... Kirby Superstar, or Kirby's Fun Pack in Europe, but it was mis it's mistakenly spelled as Fan Pack. <laughs> I have no clue why. Even the Australian ROM misspells this. Yeah, there's a separate Australian ROM. I'll talk about that in a moment. Fox McCloud was in Star Fox, aka Star Wing, and Star Fox 64, aka Lilac Wars. Uh, and then, and then Pikachu was from Pokemon. Um, well, red and green in Japan, and then and then an updated blue version, and then uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, yeah, so... Uh, same with Jigglypuff. Um, uh, also Pokemon. 
And then Captain Falcon from F-Zero and F-Zero Axe, they were the only F-Zero games back then. And then Ness from Earthbound, or Mother 2. Um, so yeah, the Japanese version does list the games differently, obviously the different names, but they also have the release dates. Well, the year it came out and then the month, um, which for some reason they removed in the English version, probably because they didn't have enough room. Uh, but for European and Australian versions, they also changed the names for the ones that did have name changes. Uh, but yes, like I said, there is actually a separate Australian ROM for this game. And what's the difference? It's the same as the European version, but with no language setting. So, so basically you get no language setting, but you do get the uh, European name changes for... Um, for the uh, get for the games listed, so and yes, even that version misspells Kirby's Fun Pack as Fan Pack <laughs> for some reason, but in reality it's Fun Pack. So yeah, uh, that about covers off um, Super Smash Bros. Then I guess so. Uh, change languages and. You'll get like a translation at the bottom, uh, which is cool. You get that in the Japanese version as well, because obviously uh, the menus are still in English, so you get like a translation at the bottom there. You see there. But yeah. I think you get a different name for Jigglypuff as well. I'm not sure though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's Rondudu. Uh... Oh, the, the, he says names differently as well. Let's see how he says Mario. Mario Luigi, <laughs> okay, uh, let's see how the German says it. Um, let's see how German says it. Um, Obviously, you get German translation down there. <laughs> okay, Captain Falcon is just the English narrator. Okay. And then um, Jigglypuff is Pummel off. It's cool how they... I think that's why the European ROM is bigger as well. It's uh, It needs a 32 megabyte cartridge instead of 16 megabyte cartridge. Uh, I think it's also why the Australian version doesn't have these. But still. And then obviously in the English version you don't get a translation there. So, so yeah, that's about it for uh, this playthrough then, guys. So... I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching this uh, series. Uh, it's been enjoyable. It's definitely good, Super Smash Bros. So, I don't know what I'll do next, but hopefully it'll be something good. So, I shall see you guys in the next uh, series. So, Jane Poop out. See you guys next time. Bye!